Would you? Uh, Be honest. Uh, 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 uh. In my house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I tell you, the arrival of the cicadas, it doesn't mean billions of these bug-eyed bugs flying around for the next month or so. For some, it's a chance to get a little extra protein on your plate and in your diet. WMR2 News' Megan Knight explains why having a side of cicada with oh. your steak is good for the environment. Oh. We, we went to Rock Creek Park yesterday and harvested a bunch and ate them last night. What Jessica Bonzo is talking about is harvesting cicadas. Yes, if you think she's kidding, just look at her Twitter page. There, in a frying pan, a bunch of cicadas having barely crawled out of the earth before ending up in her kitchen. Uh, we boiled them for two minutes and then we just put them in a frying pan with some sesame oil, garlic, some chili, salt, and just ate them as little appetizers. While that might be a lot to digest, Bonzo points out how insects are a popular protein in other parts of the world. You know, Mexico, they consume grasshoppers. Africa, they consume locusts and termites. It's very common. Asia, water bugs. How the world eats is Fonzo's area of expertise. She's a Bloomberg Distinguished Professor at Johns Hopkins University and teaches food policy. She says eating cicadas may come with an ick factor, but chowing down on the bugs can be good for the environment. Some countries have very energy intensive diets and energy intensive food production systems like the United States. So we have to start thinking about alternative sources of, of protein and micronutrient and vitamin and mineral rich foods, insects being one. So of course, the obvious question is, what does a cicada taste like? I mean, a little bit like shrimp, but not as strong. They really don't have like a really pungent taste to them, which is interesting. They just kind of taste earthy. And as for how to prep your cicadas, Fonzo likes to keep it simple, but here's where she draws the line. But I've heard people dipping the cicadas in chocolate, which just doesn't seem, it seems like that's just taking dessert one step too far. And if the idea of cooking up cicadas really does intrigue you, there's even a cookbook. It's called Cicadalicious. It was developed 17 years ago, the last time we saw these guys by Jenna Jaden. She was a student at the time at the University of Maryland, and there's a lot of different recipes in there, including cicada dumplings, cicada stir fry, even cicada rhubarb pie. Mmm, bon appetit. I'm Megan Knight with WMAR2 News.